first event. The men's 800 meter freestyle. This was the first time contested at the Olympic Games. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this. We had an absolute stellar comeback from the American Robert Fink. Let's just go ahead and zoom in here. I know there's a lot of numbers here on the screen. I want you guys to see how incredible this performance was. First of all, the world record of 732 was not even close. We weren't even close to that. But you know what? This is the Olympic Games, and it's all about the battle. Let's look at these final few splits and see how he came out of nowhere and absolutely destroyed the field on the final 50. So we're just going to go scroll over here. Let's look at how he split this, right? His last 50 was a 26.3. If you guys watch the race, he literally shot by the other swimmers as if they weren't even moving. It was ridiculous. Look at that. 28-0, 28-0, 28-7, 28-0, all the way to a 26-3. But it wasn't just the last 50. He was making his move all the way throughout. If you look at who came in second... This is considered one of the greatest, the Italian, the greatest distance swimmer of the last five years. He's won multiple world championships. He's won, he's won medals at all these different stages, and he has a lot of distance. He went out hard. Look at this. He was holding 28-5, 29-0, 29-2, 29-3. He went out so hard that first, call it 150, 200 meters. At the 200 mark, let's see what he went out in. He went out in a 152 at, oh, let me draw a better circle. He went out in a 152 at the 200 mark. He was out blazing, and then he kind of fell apart, but he was able to hold it together at the very end. But look at this final 50 for Fank. He was home in a 54. Wow, that is fast. 28.5, 26.3. Let me know what you guys think about that. Fank came out of nowhere. He was in fourth, fifth place the entire time. The comeback was crazy. Yes, you are correct. He was leading. His streamlines were not tight. He was literally swimming right on the lane rope. Yeah, he was he was circle swimming. He swam more than an 800. I think he swam like an 815. But wow. Way to bring it back in a 26. I mean, guys, that's ridiculous. 26. Just for just for reference, that would be a good time at the end of a 200 meter freestyle. So the fact that he did that at the end of an 800, incredible. Yeah, guys, it, for all of the age group swimmers and masters swimmers, people who actively swim and compete, do not circle swim anything. If you have the lane to yourself, swim right down the middle, especially when he was leading. We're talking about the Italian swimmer here uh, on the screen. But yeah, don't, don't circle swim. That was a little annoying for me <laughs> as well. I was so pumped when Fink won. There we go. There we go. Yeah, those are the signs of a world-class swimmer so there's a lot to get through so i want to make sure we can get through all of these events oh that was a great reaction yeah nesty i believe right he was going nuts i don't have the video right now i won't be able to do that for you guys but maybe in tomorrow's video i'll go ahead and pull up and compare his reaction to titmus's coach's reaction and we'll see who can who can celebrate harder the americans or the australians that would be something huh that would be something